If you want to know how you can make fun commands for your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can make uh, fun commands and what I mean with that if you were suggested it so um thank you and what I mean with fun commands is that if someone types kaboom uh, if someone types kaboom in the chat for example uh, if you type kaboom you will explode and you will die so uh, that is basically called a fun command but it's kind of based off of admin commands but uh, these are like available for everyone and they're fun themed and admin commands are usually only for moderators and they can ban people and I'll do all that sorts of stuff but this is just for fun themed thingies so we're gonna be doing two of them we're gonna be doing kaboom and free fall it's because they're pretty cool and you could experiment uh, you can experiment so don't worry so um, without further ado let's get into the tutorial but if you are if you are not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button it really helps me out thank you and just give it a like give this video a like if you like it uh, turn on the notification bell subscribe to my channel and as I said without further ado let's get into the tutorial so what we're gonna be doing um, the fun commands and you want to create a server script in server script service so click script like that rename it to server because why not just some organization purposes um, so now we can do local players Zookas the game call on get service players and if you don't know what get service does uh, returns the service with the requested class name and if it does not exist creating it so now we need to get the player we need to do we need to detect that the player joins so let's do players dot player added as you can see fires when a player enters the game player added we need to connect it we need to give it a function called player which is our variable now and now we need to detect if a player has chatted and if a player chat is a uh, chatted um, we can fire something um, so we have to do player that chatted and as you can see fires when a player chats in game using Roblox's provided chat bar as you can see this is a link oh oh chatted call a connect function and you can give this a variable and as you can see function message which is a string so we can do message like that so now we need to detect uh, we need to like read out the message to detect if it is equal to the script so if message is equals equals to kaboom as you can see we're gonna explode ourselves so we're gonna type kaboom then so now um, we know there's a player we know when they chatted and we know what they chatted so we can do if message is equals equals to kaboom now we can explode the player and in order to do that we need to do instance that new explosion so to do that local explosion is equals to instance that new explosion as you can see it returns an instance of the specified class like this now we can do explosion dot and we need to do the blast pressure first as you can see used to determine the amount of force applied blah blah so this is just the amount of force uh, it's gonna use to kill you so let's do a thousand to make sure you're dead now we can do explosion dot blast radius which determines the radius so what I mean with it um, if you would set the radius to this circle everything in this circle will be killed and if you would stand out of outside of the circle you will not be killed so blast radius let's just do 10 to make it minimal minimalizable if that's a word and now we can do we need to set the position now because we don't want the explosion to happen at the other side of the map but at the player so explosion dot position is equals to player dot character as you can see, a model controlled by the player that contains a humanoid, body parts, scripts, and other objects. So, that is a character. So, player.character.humanoid root part, which is a base part in the character. So, explosion.position is equal to player.character.humanoid root part.position. And position always have to end with position. So, yes. 
And now we need to set the parent. So we need to set it into the player. So now we can do explosion. That parent is because the and we're actually going to be putting it in the humanoid root part. So just copy this line and paste it over here. And this is your kaboom done. So let me quickly go over again of what it does. First of all, we are trying to get the player service. And if it is not there, we are creating it. Second of all, we are um, getting the player to see if they're actually in the game. Over here, we're checking if they chatted. Over here, we're checking what the message is. So if it is kaboom. If it is anything else than Kaboom, we're not doing anything. But if it is the exact same to Kaboom, exact identical, then we're going to do all of this. So you can test this out by playing your game. And if I would try, if I would misspell it by Kaboom double uh, M, nothing is happening. But if I would try it once, or just like with like, like perfect identical, and I click enter, I'm dead. Because we're setting every single property to the player. So this is what the explosion does. And uh, that is the kaboom. It's really simple. And now, uh, as I said in the beginning of this video, we would do a free fall one. And in order to make a player fall from the sky, we have to teleport them up and let them fall uh, down without killing them though. If you're fast enough, you could, you could type kaboom and then press enter when you're on the ground. But in order to make a player free fall, we have to manipulate the player's uh, humanoid root part C frame. And that is a lot of difficult words. I'll guide you through it, don't worry. But first of all, we need to check if they sent the message called free fall. So else if message is equals equals to free fall. So if, if the so right now the script will check if it is kaboom and if it is not kaboom it will check for this and if it is free fall then we're going to be putting you up in the sky and you can fall down so player dot character dot humanoid root part and now we need to do c frame which is the exact same as position it just uses other values around the map so player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame and we need to do it we need to multiply it so in order to multiply it you need to do times equals, which is shift eight and shift plus. Uh, nope, shift eight and just equals. So times equals C frame dot new. And uh, you should see it as this. The first argument is front or back. The second argument is up or down. And the other argument, so this is up and down. And the other argument, the last one is left or right. But we only need to put the player up in the sky, which is up and down. So positive is up. And if you do minus, you would go under the map. But as I said, free falling means from bottom, uh, from up to bottom. So we need to, we're going to do times uh, a thousand. So we're going to be placed up a thousand blocks up in the sky. So let's see. If I would type kaboom. I am dead. Whoa, look at that. And if I would type free fall, as you can see, I'm up in the sky, exactly above myself, boom. And I'm on the ground now. And as you can see, if I would step in a circle, so you can see if it is really um, the same position, as you can see, I am a thousand studs up, and as you can see, I'm back at the circle again. So there's a funny thing to do. If you're fast enough, you can do free fall, and kaboom and if I would land I can initialize the kaboom so let's try it out one more time free fall and kaboom as you can see I just you know it's pretty funny to do so, but yeah that is basically um, this simple tutorial uh, you can experiment yourselves all you have to do is keep doing the else if message so for example if you want to do something else uh, like else if message six six to kick then you can do player colon kick nub. I just always do nub. So the game will check if it's kaboom. If it's not, it will check for free fall. And if it's not, it's going to check for kick. And if it is kick, you're going to get kicked for the reason called nub. So kick. As you can see, I just got kicked from my own game, which is really cool. So just keep doing this else if message and you'll be fine. 
So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, this small one, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, so never miss out on any video, and all I can say is that my name is Doobie, and I say, peace out.